I found a hidden VHS tape. I was moving out and I left my old state to go to a new one. The city life was bad, and my life was going to get worse if I stayed there. I moved in about a day ago, which was alright, I suppose. I got all the furniture set up and my electronics ready. I always wanted a VCR, but never had the money or willpower to look for one, and if I were to look for one, the prices are way too expensive. Like, we're talking about prices in the thousands here. I wasted almost all of my money on the moving company and me moving between states. What I forgot about this new house was that there was an attic which made me smile because I hope that the previous owners left some things behind that they didn't care about. I go to the attic and climb the ladder which they polished very nicely and it looks like it was in great condition. And it was. It was very sturdy and supported my weight. I'm about 150 pounds and I'm 20 years old, keep in mind. So when I finally get to the attic, I looked around but I didn't see anything. It was dark as hell, like pitch black dark. I climbed down the ladder and got my phone and turned on the flashlight feature. The brightness was alright, considering the phone isn't that good, but hey, it works, right? I returned to the attic ladder and climbed back up with my flashlight in hand. When I got back to the attic, I shined the light towards the other end. It's bright enough to where I can barely see the other end of the attic. I crawl more into the attic and I get on a knee before I shine the light in every direction. There was nothing in here except in the corner of the very end of the attic on the left side. I approach it and see that there's a box with a note on it. I pick it up and the note is read like so. Whatever you do, don't use this VCR and don't play the tape. Things will occur in which are unexplainable but will cause damage to you in any way, shape, or form. If you happen to find this box, don't use it and throw the box with the VCR and tape away. Burn it. Put it in acid. I don't care. Get rid of it. The note was from a previous owner, I guess, and the initial on the bottom of the note is H. I think to myself, but I don't think for long. I put the note aside and see the box labeled as unknown tape with VCR. Do not use written in red ink. I looked around the attic and take the box and the note with me back downstairs. I set it down on the dining room table and open it up. It shouldn't hurt to open this box, right? What's inside the box is a VCR. It looks broken and dusty. The VCR is covered in dust. I lie the VCR on its side since it was flat and sure enough, there was a tape that was just blank with no label on it. I don't know what this meant, and it doesn't mean well. I pull out the VCR and I plug it into my TV and then I plug in the power to the VCR. I then turned on the TV and changed the output to TV channel 3. After the VCR was blue on the TV, I inserted the tape and I pressed play on the VCR. The tape started playing, but all there was is a black screen for a couple of minutes. It's weird, but I didn't think less of it. It could be the tape or the VCR itself. Then a sudden white screen flashed and the video was in color at this time. It seemed like it was a family of five around a table with red cloth, but in the middle of the tablecloth was a black cloth with a chalice on it. They were outside, but it looked like a ritual of some sort. One of the family members turns to the camera and held up her arm and started laughing. The camera zooms into her arm, which now had visible cuts and bleeding. I blinked many times to see if it was real or not, and sure enough, it was. The camera zooms back out, then zooms in on the chalice. It was black with red writing that was ineligible. One other family member started to say a chant that seemed to be Latin. The camera again zooms back out. What I see is blood running down the chalice covering the red writing. A couple of nooses. What seems odd is that it looked exactly like my backyard. I pause the tape and I look at the backyard. There it was. The table and the red and black tablecloths with a chalice on it. There were no people to be seen. I look back at the TV screen and I see that it continued playing and I turned around again in the backyard and saw a noose at my door, hung up already. 
swaying back and forth as if it's calling me to do it. I look back at it to see an extreme close-up of the female's face, smiling and laughing with black eyes. Her eyes are almost completely blacked out. There's no whiteness in her eyes anywhere. I stand back away from the screen and I turn around. As I turn around, I see the female hanging on the rope. She's laughing and laughing. I'm frozen in place by fear. I can't move. I can only observe what may seem my final moments. The female then unhangs herself, but leaves the noose swaying back and forth. She starts to approach me. She takes my hand and she drags me to the noose. Can't do anything but follow and comply with the female's request. She smiles and laughs, knowing what my fate is. I begin to feel myself move again. Once I feel my legs move, I make a run for it, and I run out of the house. She screams like a banshee chasing me. I close the front door and stand back. A couple of seconds later, I hear sirens and see them coming over the road. It was a black van with no logo of any company. The tires screech. And people start to burn the house down. Two of the guys grab me and put me in the back of their van. Once the house had finished burning, we drive off. I'm taken to a facility where I'm being questioned, but I haven't been told anything yet. I'm still waiting now, and this has been written during this time. I don't know when I'm going to be released. I don't know if I'll live again. I just have to wait.